What is up, NASCAR Pinties fans? Caitlin Patrick here. It is the 2021 season. We are back finally. I am joined today by the driver of the number 20 RGC Quick Rick Chevrolet with 22 Racing, Trayton Lapsovich. Trayton, you're coming full time with us. How excited are you to get racing? Uh, I'm really excited to get going. A uh, uh, great deal with Quick Wick and RGC to to get me in a ride with 22 Racing in the number 20 car. So. Just so excited to get going and, and can't even wait to get testing too. Uh, just can't wait to get to the track. So how did that deal with 22 Racing, Quick Wick and RGC Sports come together? Um, well, we've had sort of a, we've had a relationship with RGC for a couple years now. Uh, TJ and all the guys at RGC have been uh, helping with my late model program in the APC series and such. So uh, we kind of, we, we wanted to help, um, we wanted to get something together with them to go Pinty's racing for this year. And then uh, the relationship with quick quick started last year, filling in for Tagliani at sunset there. They helped for my one-off uh, one-off race there. So I uh, built a great relationship with them too. And then uh, it was just perfect for them to come together and, and as co-primary sponsors to, to help get the ride going. Well, that is so exciting. We are so happy to have the last pitch back in the series. So Trayton, we have a, full slate of races for the 2021 season. Which of the tracks are you most excited to get to? Uh, I'm probably most excited to get to Chaudier. Um, it's a track that I've never raced at, obviously, but I watched my brother and, uh, and Alex obey that, that crazy battle there. And either, I think it was 2016 or 2017, one of the two. Either way, it looked really fun. It, a very cool track. And I think it would definitely be right up my wheelhouse of uh, – in regards to the track shape and the length and all that. Your brother, the 2016 NASCAR Pinties champion, does have quite a few wins in the series. Which track would you like to get your first win at? You know, I think it would probably be really cool to get my first win at Sunset, just because that's a, that was, I, I mean, I, I consider it my home track. I started there in, in the mini stocks and then the street stocks and, and all that. So I think it'd be pretty cool to get it at Sunset and I'd be really excited for that. But, you know, I'll take, I'll take a first win at any track really. So. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't matter where the first win comes at. It's just, you just want to win. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it would be nice to get a win straight out the gate, Sunset. You almost did last year, which I guess leads into our next question of your first race last year in the Pinty Series. You were racing the number 18, filling in for Alex Tagliani. And coming to the checkered flag in race one at Sunset, um, there was the scuffle in turn three and four with Jason Hathaway and then Kevin Lacroix and you LP just beat you to the line. Is there anything you would do differently to go back and get that first win? Uh, honestly, I've watched the video a lot and, and I I've gone over what I could have done and, and all that, but um, honestly, I was just trying to get through it. I, I saw them wrecking and, or I, I anticipated a wreck happening and I committed to the outside because I figured that'd be the, the best place. And, and all I think I could have done different was really push it harder and harder into the corner and, uh, and maybe get ahead of him so he didn't really have the chance to squeeze me up into the wall there. But uh, no, at the time, I just saw smoke and, and I couldn't see any cars wrecking. I, so I couldn't see anybody. And I was just trying to get around it clean and, and hopefully grab a good finish, which we did. Well, your first race, you get initiated into the series pretty quickly as to how these guys drive. Um, did you learn anything from the way these guys race from that doubleheader? Uh, I definitely learned that I probably need to be a little bit more aggressive and moving, moving forward. Um, but at the same time, I just need to keep my equipment under me and, and my tires to be able to last the, uh, the amount of laps. But yeah, it's definitely a bit more of an aggressive driving style to get past someone. And, and, you know, at sunset, I, I feel like that was probably the worst track for that because uh, the outside and the inside are both pretty competitive and, and you definitely need to get a bit rough to, to get by someone. Yeah. These guys drive a little bit aggressive. I'm the, the intensity from some of these guys can be quite interesting. It makes for good racing. Um, moving forward, we have three road courses on the series, on the schedule this year. Um, four, four events, uh, GP3R, two at CTMP, and one at ICAR. You don't really have any road course racing experience, do you? So what are your expectations heading into those events? No, the only road course racing experience I have is just on the, the simulator, but uh, no, hopefully we can get some testing in. And, uh, I can get a little bit seat time before we go right into road course and road course racing and, and I don't have to enter it blind. But uh, 
thankfully I got my dad. Uh, my dad was always pretty good at road course racing. So I hope that I'm going to be able to lean on him for some advice and, and uh, hopefully we can just grab some, some good finishes at the road course and uh, contribute to our, our overall points championship, like the point standings. Yeah. And rookie of the year standings. You can't forget about that. Cause you are yeah. running for rookie of the year this year. Um, which of the three road courses are you most excited about to race? Uh, definitely CTMP. All right. So you do have a lot of experience at Jucasa and Slamborough in a variety of different series, including the APC series. Um, how will that experience racing those different cars there translate into racing Pinty's cars? Yeah, I mean, especially Flambro is a, is a tricky track. Um, you know, there's a lot of different lines you can take at Flambro and uh, and it's a whole different a whole different way of uh, defending your line at Flambro. You can you can really find a way to uh, to defend your line and, and not really allow the guys to pass you behind you, even if you're a little bit slower. So I think it's definitely going to be good to uh, take the experience from especially Flambro and, and be able to take that and, and try and translate it to the, the Pinty's car. I mean, it's a uh, it's a lot different in regards to suspension and all that from the late model, a lot different handling, but um, hopefully I can take the, uh, you know, the fundamental lines and all that and, and translate it a little. So the last bitch bloodline runs very deep in the NASCAR Pinty series, your brother, Caden, the 2016 NASCAR Pinty's champion, and your dad ran from 2007 to 2015 in the series. And then also ran in the cast car series before that growing up, watching them race, was it always a goal of yours to come into the Pinty series full time? Yeah, I mean, uh, even at a young age, I was really involved into to going to the racetrack and, and really involved to helping out at the shop as well. So I, I always aspired to be a race car driver. I, I was never really interested in any other sports. And uh, all I wanted to do was, was help my dad out with the racing. And uh, yeah, here we are. Here we are, full time, running full time. You're only in grade 11. <laughs> That's, you won't exactly get to beat your brother's record of being the youngest champion, champion, even though he did, he only held it for a little bit as well, um, or being the youngest race winner either, but you, maybe you can add another Lapsovich win onto the Lapsovich bloodline belt, but your brother continued his racing career down into the States and was even a member of the NASCAR Next program. Is that something you'd like to do in the future? Maybe running even a truck or Xfinity race? Yeah, definitely. I, I think the ultimate goal is probably ending up in the States. Uh, I know Caden's living his dream down there in North Carolina and he's having a lot of fun. So yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I probably aspire to attend up in the States sometime, uh, sometime rather in my career. So you also, you mentioned your simulator earlier and that's been helping you learn the road course races. Even you were even in the inaugural NASCAR Pinty's pro invitational last May. Um, how has iRacing helped you gain more experience um, in racing? Um, I think iRacing definitely helps a lot, especially when COVID all started and, and there was nothing really to do. I, I got a lot of seat time on iRacing and I'm still doing that today. It's pretty much my days really just consist of iRacing in school. So uh, I think it definitely helps. Uh, I think there is a little bit of lack in realism, but uh and, you know, there's no direct comparison to a Pinty's car either. Uh, you have the trucks and the ARCA cars, which are about as close as you get. So I, I try and get experience in those and maybe work on my shift points at the road course and, and ultimately the line as well. How many hours do you think you're logging a day in that simulator? Uh, I think it's probably somewhere from four to six. Oh, gosh. So you, <laughs> you finish with school and you're just immediately in the simulator racing. That, that's pretty much it. Yeah. And then... Um, Thankfully, now we're starting back up in the shop and getting like the late model ready in that. So it's taken away from a, a bit of that time, which, which is probably good. So. so final question, what is your biggest goal for your rookie season? Um, I just want to be consistent, really. Uh, grab a lot of top fives and, and ultim the ultimate goal would be grab a win. So uh, aiming for that and then also the rookie of the year would be pretty cool, too. Well, Trayton, we are excited to have you full-time in the NASCAR Pinty Series, and we can't wait to see what you can do behind the wheel of some of these cars. We will see you at sunset next month. Trayton, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me.